Well, this Sunday is shaping up to be probably the longest and the most boring sermon you've ever heard in your life. Um, I would recommend, you know, good night's sleep ahead of time or maybe even, um, you know, just planning to sleep during church. Uh, bring a pillow, maybe your blankie, and uh, we're going to have a great time. We'll see you Sunday. How's that? <laughs> That's what I want. That's it right there. It's a wrap. All right. Let's do it for real this time. Uh, this Sunday we're going to be talking about God's call in our lives, when God calls by looking at Moses in Exodus chapter 3 and 4. And if there's two key points I hope people walk away with, one is that understanding that God's calling is not like responding to a telemarketer during dinner time where it's optional, am I going to receive this call or not, but to really see God's call as more of a, a, a summons, uh, the, the general directing the directing. When we receive a call, it's it's something we answer, uh, not that we choose how we're going to respond to that. Uh, the, the second thing I hope we see is that really seeing God's grace in the midst of the calling that he places on our lives. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is that part of becoming what God wants you to be is doing that which God calls you to do. If you look at the life of Moses and you think through, you know, what if God would have left him to die in the desert, that's a completely different life story than what we see when God called him to engage with Pharaoh and the, the call to let people, uh, to let his people go. As we move into the Koinonia times, uh, I'm excited about groups of friends coming together and talking about calling because really some of the best place to receive confirmation about a personal calling in your own life is gathering together in a living room. Uh, with people who know you and love you and who are you know, committed to Scripture and God's work in your life. And just being able to share together, this is what I think God is doing in my life, and being able to receive the feedback from them. So I'm very excited about sharing from the Word on Sunday morning, but I'm also excited about the times that you will have as Koinonia groups processing the material and sharing your lives as it wraps around the idea of, of God's calling in your life.